Hey guys, hey lovelies, my name is Wing Basset and welcome and welcome back to my channel in case you're new here. And I just want to thank you guys for subscribing and liking my videos and watching. And the fact that you guys, I always struggled with like telling someone a story. I don't know how to give a full story like from A to Z. But the fact that you guys loved the other videos, I feel like maybe I can do it in a, a certain way. And just have myself feel comfortable doing this and just talking out and being me. <laughs> Anyways, my sister had uh, some questions that like TMI questions. And if you know what TMI stands for, it's too much information. I don't know whether I'll be like too good or too... I'm going to try as much as possible to be very open, weird, funny, all of that. You get just all of me. Okay, <laughs> let's get into the video. Oh, and before anything, guys, please don't forget to like the video, give it a thumbs up, um, subscribe if you haven't, and just share my videos to your friends. We are going to 2K. We are going to 2K. And I promise you that we're going to celebrate it and we'll celebrate it together. Not indoors, but outdoors. I'm sure you want to say that. So let's get that. So the first questions, they're not that much, but I'm just, I'm going to try and be, I don't talk too much. I don't open up too much. I don't explain a lot about me, but I'm going to try with these few questions for you guys. <laughs> okay. The first question is, what is the most embarrassing thing that happened to you in public? If you have been watching my videos, there's that video I did with um, the dresses in my closet. If you haven't watched that video, go and watch it after this one. Just go and watch it. Yeah, so I remember telling you guys that I had a certain time about a certain dress. And that was the most embarrassing day of my life. And <laughs> next time I get an outfit, I'm just going to check it like through the sun and be like, is it uh, see-through because I really didn't do that it was just a simple dress so let me take you back before before I start um, going to the end explaining the end instead of the start so it was this time when I was like shooting my YouTube videos with um, and my photos with a certain um, really nice photographer I enjoyed so much working with him and he does like great job <laughs> so this day I was going to shoot a YouTube video and I was going to, I was doing interviews at that time. And you guys, I ha I didn't post some of them that I did, which right now I'm just questioning myself, like, why do I always do this? But at that day, that day I was going to interview a certain, um, is it influencer or how do I call it? Celeb. I don't know how to call him. But yeah, he was trending at that time. So I sort of had the opportunity to like meet him and work on something so it was it was serious so i went on and at that time i'm i'm, I'm studying in jaguar right so obviously i'm in juja and i'm looking for a dress because i have to like look and play the part like you're interviewing someone like that's how serious i am with <laughs> with everything so i went outside i kind of places they sell like dresses and if you knew me from way back i would really buy like two dresses two dresses like I would really buy to dress in jeans and zinakatu kwa, like the closet zinakatu apu. But that day I felt like, no, I don't have enough. Let me go look for something. And I found like a, a really open dress. It's just um, a black, simple dress. And I feel like this would really look good if I paired it with something like a jacket on top. What is it called? A denim jacket, a blue one. So that day I... I was like, I'm going to do two things at the same day. The same day. Like, I've always been serious, guys. I just procrastinate a lot. So the plan was I do a shoot, then record the interview when once the, the guy arrives. So earlier on, I'm from Georgia all the way to... Where was it? Okay, um, No, let me explain to you nicely. 
so this was a day prior right to the day so i got the dress the dress is looking nice it's clean obviously it looks good so i am like you know what this is what i'm gonna wear and when i got it i got it to come in like Gioni. so you wouldn't tell whether the dress was a see-through you wouldn't tell so many me talker i went out and i'm like okay in the morning i'm so like pumped up for this day because i'm like you know i'm that girl i am going to do this i'm gonna be looking nice before the cameras i have the questions all together and i'm like set we're gonna do this so i can't even extra clothes that's what saved me i had an extra dress and need to adjust um see koti you know my mind do oh, my mind i forget things so i had I, I had a separate like outfit for me to get like more pictures okay one for the interview and photo shoot at the same time then one and use it or wear it while on the interview so while shooting sorry so sasa mini metoka all the way from juja i'm like walking all the way to the stage and you guys know how far it is okay that day i chose not to get on the motorbike because i felt like if i wife I sat on the motorbike like the dress itapanda all the way up and I didn't want to embarrass myself. So because I'm, let me walk because I wasn't wearing heels. I carried my heels in my bag. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm walking all the way and I'm like, okay, why are people looking at me like that? And people are so bad. They won't any ladies, a Muslim kona dim munzako and a like hajuya kwa hivyo ukakuta kwa mbebe the way it is yako iko hivi na hivi yani there is no one ladies were just looking at me you know there's something it's different when guys look at you but then it's it's way different when every lady is looking at you and turning to look at you so i didn't know why they were looking at me but you know what mimi ni ule mwenye i say you know what and i see you guys looking at me but i'm gonna keep moving <laughs> Little did I know the sun is shining all the way like shan in an itandika this what am i saying like little did i know that the sun was like directly on me so the outfit that i was wearing everyone could see like me inside they could see um all the way from the back as in kama kuna mtu anataka nyuma yangu you could see through the the dress and i didn't know i had no idea yani until today i'm like did i was i wearing a black underwear cuz that would that's time staying embarrassing <laughs> and i walked all the way hey nikapanda paka nikapanga line ya matatu and nobody no one told me they could one and that's so sad that we live in this country of human beings who can just tell you girl this is how it is you know when you come on a feel pretty and you can't even tell me so nikapanda mat nimeshuka and i'm walking it's also a distance to the place that i'm going to i think they also picked me later on so when i found out was when i was like doing the shoot and you know i like making those poses where your legs is the v <laughs> and many it wasn't just one guy there were like other guys there that i didn't know i only knew the photographer and he came and told me hey we need your dress unaonekana of the reason i was like i hey, why are people uh, wanna slam up all the way and tell me oh, you look nice <laughs> i was that was the most embarrassing day of my life where you are seated with guys and they're all looking at you in a certain type of way and you don't know why that was the most embarrassing day of my life that i will never forget and until today i'm always careful like on what i choose to wear because of that day <laughs> So I changed it uh, later did the shoot and all that and everything was fine thanks to the photographer thanks to him <laughs> I hope I explained it nicely because I suck at that <laughs> And my sister knows this so why would you give me these questions Anyway okay describe a peculiar habit that people might find surprising Wow this is like literally putting myself out here yani najisema Anyway, I have a certain peculiar habit, a weird habit. And I don't care whether you're going to judge me because I know most of you do it. Okay? So, I happen to find myself talking talking to the mirror or talking just to you know, that corporate body saying this and this or as if I'm in an interview. I think that's my way of like getting like taking out the thoughts <laughs> or me imagining myself in a certain situation and I'm like talking out like loud just as I am like talking to you guys but now there's no one or anything I'm just alone but I'm having a deep conversation with myself I sure some of you do it it's very weird I know but it somehow 
it somehow helps with if you are that person who like thinks a lot and keeps things in it kind of helps like just taking it out in a way so <laughs> i don't care if you're gonna find it weird but yeah that's the truth yeah what's uh your guilty pleasure when it comes to food um my guilty pleasure i don't know how to answer this honestly um i think i can't have like food without something on the side like juice or sweet no i don't think that's a guilty pleasure i just feel like i i'm always having lots of sugar and lots of sweets for no reason and that's i love it i don't know whether it's a bad thing or a good thing I, you guys could be having like um let's say ugali and something and right away i'll go and have some gummies like when you come into my house you never miss candy i always love candy 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 and i can have it with anything or after any meal or before any meal just like a snack or a fruit i love that i love it yeah <laughs> i'm pretty bad at this <laughs> Okay, share a childhood memory that still makes you laugh or makes you smile or cringe. Well, one of the childhood memories that I really don't remember that much, but I also don't forget about it is, you know, one thing you guys don't know that I was very, a very, very active child, like very active child i took part in games i took part in dancing especially dancing when i was way younger that's why i can't remember that but very well but those were the best moments of my life and i used to have fun guys if i tell you i would go to when i was like events in years now was like one with kids and parents and all that then kids go on the stage like i was never afraid i don't know where that and it's really it took like end of happy because and I was one of those kids. I'm very obedient. Don't like judge it the wrong way. But I've always, I was always, anyone I'm like a limelight where I'm just enjoying myself and being myself and loving it, enjoying it. That you'll find me there. So I'd compete with kids. I'd win money. I'd win gifts. Like, yeah, and that's just a completely different winnie <laughs> from now. I really had a good time at that time. I remember playing hula hoop and winning and everyone would wonder hey your waist your waist kwani and i'm like it's a gift <laughs> it's a gift this that's one of the childhood memories that i i really can't forget and was one of the like really i can't really forget about it what else what else um i remember when i was young and mind you i have three siblings so at that time i was like alone i remember when I had my first bicycle and I was the happiest kid of all time. I remember how I'd race with other kids. I'd like, I've always been outdoors playing. I've always been an active kid. I was, I was, I was an active kid. I would always be in games. Yani, utani pata kwa, izini, whatever, 100 meters. I am there. I am enjoying it. Those are the best childhood memories that i have because at that time i didn't know what fear is i didn't know what oh, people judging that wasn't something that was um a vocabulary <laughs> that's not something i considered at that time and it was just really nice just having that freedom of you being you and not thinking too much and oh, am i getting out of context but you guys will me right <laughs> anyways guys i am thank you so much for watching this video i hope i know i hope i really explained it nicely and got the message out there like regarding the questions and if you guys want me to do more of this kindly let me know and today my lipstick is it's a matte lipstick and i love it so much i finally got my lipstick shade color the red it matches with me and i feel like it looks nice i don't know about the shades they're a little bit big and cute at the same time so i wanted to come off just um different you know <laughs> anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video please like the video thank you for watching it till the end and don't forget to subscribe and share it to your friends your sisters your brothers your family and let's be a 
bigger team or bigger group or bigger family you know so until next time bye <laughs>